Hello, on this video I'm going to serve two purposes. One, I've got a Dell GX270 desktop computer here. It runs at 2.26 gigahertz. I currently have this listed on eBay for sale. Also, I wanted to demonstrate the Linux Lite, which is a independent operating system that is shareware. And I was actually pretty impressed with it. I've tried some of the other Linux versions and they're not bad, but this one really is pretty smooth. And even though this computer isn't terribly out of date, it was an older machine, but at the time it was pretty high end. Because 2.26 gigahertz, even currently I bought about a $500 laptop and it's only 2.4 gigahertz. This has one megabyte of memory. I'm sorry, I mean one gigabyte of memory. As you can see, the screen's booting up. This is the original operating system. This computer has a 60 gig hard drive. It does have a floppy drive and it has a CD-ROM drive which is working but you'll probably want to upgrade that if you buy it because for 20 bucks anymore you can get a DVD burner and this system is real easy to plug and play. I'm not going to pull it apart because I have it hooked up but you basically have a top and bottom button with these type of octuplex cases and it snaps right open and everything is pretty much plug and play inside. Now you can see already just in that few seconds the operating system is booted and Linux if you're not familiar with it I'm still somewhat learning about it a lot um, this one was a pretty ready to go install. You can see it has Mozilla Firefox already on there and just the click of a button it comes up relatively quickly. Now this computer does have a cable plug-in but I currently have it set up where I've got a small USB Wi-Fi device on it and the uh, light system here with Linux picked it up automatically. It seemed to pick up all the drivers it needed. You can see we have the screen up right now. We can go right to say YouTube and it comes up rather quickly. The video playback's been nice. I don't really want to play any videos back because I don't want to have any infringement notices on this video. We'll go to a couple other sites just so you can get an idea that for all practical purposes it's pretty simple to use. We can go to MSN The other thing, it uh, comes with a full array of other pre-installed software. It has its own office version which is pretty comparable to uh, other brands of word processors. This one is LibreOffice, which is shareware. Looks pretty similar to some of the other versions. We've also got a spreadsheet program. We have a PDF viewer and a presentation package software. Now there's a lot of software versions for Linux out there but this also has built into it called Wine which is a Windows emulator. It's not a true emulator it actually is more of a translator on a few of the programs I've tried out it seems to run just as fast or no at least noticeable differences. You've got a whole array of accessories Let's see, and we'll go into the system just so that you can see what we're running on here. Okay, this is the Linux version 3.2.0-40. This system here has an Intel Pentium 4, the 
6 gigahertz machine. Let's see if it shows the uh, RAM on here. Now there we go, we'll go to the next tab. Total memory, we have 1,023,540 kilobytes. So we're basically running about a gig of RAM. If you notice, everything does click pretty instantaneously, which I know a lot of times on a newer Windows system, do they, they do the same thing, and then it kind of slows down over time. One advantage I'm, I've heard with the Linux is there really isn't a whole lot of malware or adware out there that'll affect it. And it's been a very stable operating system on this computer. I've been running it for several weeks. And it seems quite decent. It was really easy to install. So if you're looking for something to put on a secondary computer or to get more familiar with it, not a bad program. Um, there's a few sites out there. You can just search under Linux Lite and it'll bring it right up. And it's a ISO download. So then you can just burn it right to a... Uh, CD. Well, actually, it's just a little bit small for most CDs, so you got to burn it on a DVD, or you can put it on a USB mem stick. Um, you just have to burn it on there too. If you just copy the files, generally it won't work with most systems. It was a real easy and pretty self-sufficient install. Other than that, back to the actual computer, since this is also up for auction, you can see it's got a few scuffs. These. This computer was part of a bulk auction that I bought from a uh, courthouse, and actually they had pulled the hard drives out of them, but they were pretty decent machines. However, I didn't need as many as came with the lot. I just wanted a couple for some of my own projects and to have some good, reliable computers that were worth upgrading if need be. And uh, these definitely fit the bill. As you can see on the back, it's got multiple USB ports. It holds... PS2 keyboards and mice, or you can plug in USB. It has a monitor standard output. It has basically, if you're if some of you won't remember these, but it has a dial up modem card in it, not too useful anymore. And you do have a network plug in for a Cat5. And it looks like a parallel printer port, which is kind of outdated anymore. On the front, You have a headphone input and two more USB ports. Now for this auction, you are basically just bidding on the desktop computer itself. Also, it does have a product key sticker still on it for the original licensed XP Professional. Unfortunately, they didn't give me a backup disk with it, and they pulled the hard drives but it is licensed if you wanted to put XP Professional on it as well. But uh, actually, I mean, it seems to be running pretty well with this Linux Lite, so I'm going to probably be doing more of my machines with it because it's been very hassle-free, and uh, the installs are pretty easy. And you still have your traditional terminal mode where you can put in your code commands for some of you that are more familiar with Linux. Also, uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, but you do have what's called Wine, which is a Win operating system. It was pretty easy to set up and configure, and it'll run quite an array of Windows programs. The only thing I noticed, which I didn't have time to figure out how to solve it yet, was if I was trying to run a Bitcoin mining program, certain ones usually have to use a target line, which on Windows is easy to add to a shortcut, and it didn't seem as simple for a shortcut on the Linux, so I'll have to look for how to resolve that. But other than that, thanks for watching the video. If you've got an old machine that you want to get up resurrected without spending a lot on an operating system, or you don't have the recovery disks, uh, this Linux Lite definitely seems very nice and pretty easy to get set up. So thanks again for watching.